It is about, what time is it? About 4.30. Um, Saturday is their day before the big Subaru event. And I just simply ran out of time to install this. Uh, I showed you guys this earlier. This is the uh, Parent Performance Air Oil Separator. This is the uh, neon yellow color, which I'm actually stoked about. Um, I also wanted to install the aftermarket seat that I have. If you're an old time subscriber, you know exactly which seat uh, I do have. That's just sitting uh, downstairs. If you guys are gonna be there, uh, well, I will see you guys there. I'll be at the parent performance booth, um, but you guys are probably seeing this after the show anyway, so I don't know why I'm telling you. The next day. Way too damn early. Can't find the hole. What time is it? I don't even feel like talking right now. will say the front mount intercooler really is doing a good job at keeping temperatures down as you can see in the top right it says 61 degrees is my intake temp and ambient temps right now are 59 degrees if I can get that in focus I gotta pull over this is getting too dangerous I am getting way too tired falling asleep at the wheel not something I want to do a little 20 minute nap not sure if that helped but it's better than nothing Big Northwest meet 2019. I'm parked over here at the parent performance booth. Made it just in the nick of time. It's supposed to be a hot one today. And right oh, back over there, you see the brand new S209. We're gonna check that out later. I'm excited to see the S209 up close in person. I'll hopefully drive it in the future at my local dealership. But anyways, besides that, a lot of cool cars so far. I haven't left um, a 20 foot radius of the car. Just got done cleaning it up, but really excited and very thankful for Parent for having me as one of their booth cars. But anyways, time to get to work and we'll talk to you guys in just a few moments. So guys, check this out. If you're looking for these, I get a lot of questions on these. If you're interested in these, just hit up Subi Bros. Uh, they'll take care of you. Say about 200 bucks, right? Uh, yeah, it's a little, just slightly over 200. So check it out, a bunch of other accessories too. All this stuff, plug and play, F1 light, you name it, DJ's got it. So I also get a lot of questions on the bumper plugs. This is where I get them from Subi Bros right here perfect paint match if you're looking for bumper plugs all right check out these battery boxes yes i do have one of these on the car i think it's number 0026 that's going to go on the car soon once i get time um this battery I still got there you go it's an awesome battery box i used to read word up magazine salt and pepper and heavy d up in the limousine hanging pictures on my wall every saturday rap attack mr magic molly mall i let my tape rock to my tape pop smoking weed and bamboo sipping on private stock way back when i had the red and black lumberjack with the hat to match remember rapping duke the hard the hard you never thought that hip hop would take it this far now i'm in the limelight cause i rhyme tight time to get paid blow up like the world train born sinner the opposite of a winner remember when i used to eat sardines for dinner easter raw g brucey b kick your brain funk master flex love bug sardine same number same hood it's all good uh, and if you don't know now you know nigga uh. all right show has ended sorry i didn't film much i know i said that earlier i don't know well actually i don't know if i did or not but you know i have a sony camera and unfortunately these cameras tend to overheat it was about 97 degrees out here and well you know like i said i couldn't record anything when the camera says it's too hot to record just made it home this thing runs fantastic. All right, so it's now a few days later. As you can see, I put the wideband gauge right here. That's a temporary spot for the wideband. That is just a cheap Amazon mount that I got for about 10 bucks. Yes, I wanna get more gauges, but this works for now. Uh, but right now I'm just loading up a map to go log. And once again, big thanks to Brand Tuning for helping me out uh, with the tune. They helped me get the car up and running with the new parts, and I can't thank him enough. And if memory serves me correct, 
I think there is a coupon code if you're interested in eTune by Brand Tuning. And also, if you want the backfires, the burble, and all that stuff, they can do that also. Uh, but in the meantime, I don't need to show you guys all this. I'm just loading up a new revision. I think I'm like on my fifth or sixth revision. Really not much to film when logging. You know, you pretty much log third gear, wide open throttle, and idle. And you drive around, logs, and you upload it. You email them, and they will email you back a revision probably within the next business day. So while the car is going through the uh, map changing or process or whatever you call it, um, I did change the oil at 3,000 miles. I don't know if I told you guys that. And so far, so good. I did send out a sample to Blackstone Labs. I added the TBN option on there. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. Uh, but hopefully, oil is good. I did use Rotella T6. The one thing that I am disappointed about is that the super dealer uses the blue oil filter instead of the black oil filter that comes from the factory and i think if i read something online that those blue filters aren't really all that great and the black filters from the factory are a whole lot better uh but yeah just a quick update on you pulled out of my driveway time to put it in sport sharp because you're supposed to log in sport sharp and off we go so the first few revisions i've been getting about a max of 18 psi of boost uh, on this map brent said that they're they upped the boost just a little bit and let's see what we get i did reset the peak monitors on the oem boost gauge and let's get to the spot and go log all right just did a log and i got a max of 19.7 i think it's about one psi more than i got before on the previous revisions not bad and pulled a lot stronger too i'm not gonna lie Maybe I should have uh, dropped it like that. So, this is going to help as far as the plans on what I am going to do with the car. And But funny how Casey uses, uh, yes, this is coming from Casey, by the way. And if you follow his channel very well, you know that his car has, is under the knife as we speak right now, or if it's not already done, um, as far as suspension-wise. So he was kind enough to send me his old suspension setup and this was actually on the channel uh, when we first got this suspension uh, brand new so this is the second time this actual suspension setup has been on the channel uh, but oh here you go all right this is the front of course this is the uh, fortune auto 510 series coilovers of course the car is going to need an alignment once i get these installed i already have an appointment scheduled for this saturday overall in my honest opinion this is going to be a huge improvement of the coilovers that i have on the car right now which are just cheap coilovers prime suspension coilovers of course this is going to be the rear setup so make sure everything is in good order which i'm positive that they are because there really isn't that very many miles on this suspension setup There you go. Oh. It's still pretty clean. Not bad. Good to go, Casey. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Anyways, enough of this boring unboxing stuff. Let's get this installed, aligned, and uh, I'm going to give you my impressions of the uh, Fortune Auto 510 series coilovers. Alright, it's now the next day. Time to take the car out to the alignment shop. Alright, first off, I want to apologize. I didn't record anything during the install. I mean, it's a coilover install. Alright, you guys have seen that a million times. Uh, but one thing I must say, I've driven the car for about 35 miles now on the new coilovers and 
These springs are rated at 8K, which is significantly stiffer than stock. And with the damper setting set at full soft, I will say that these ride significantly softer than stock, almost Camry-like in a sense. Um, when Casey had these on his car, he had them set at full stiff, and at full stiff, they ride like a skateboard. So there's a, there's a lot of adjustability to dial in your ride comfort and quality uh, with these coilovers. I'm really, really happy um, with this uh, with these set of coilovers. Not gonna lie. Um, so right now, I'm just heading over to the alignment shop. It was about 50 miles away. We're gonna see how bad my eyeball alignment is. Um, I guarantee it's gonna be way off. Uh, but the car drives straight. I mean, there's no issues with it whatsoever. I'm just more concerned about tire wear than anything else. All right, here we are back at home, 100 mile round trip just to get a freaking alignment. Yes, that's how it is. I live in a small town where no one here in my town has one of those in-ground alignments. So you can just drive right in, don't have to worry about your ride height, nothing at all. Just a small town life, that's the way it is. But here it is, my eyeball alignment. Let's take a look. So when I brought it in, everything was pretty much in spec, even though I changed the camber settings and all that good stuff. As far as camber goes in the front, not too bad. I went for negative two uh, camber in front. So actually they aligned my car out of spec um, at my request, so not too bad. So there you go. I asked them to zero out the toe and they sure did. And in the rear, it was just a hair out of spec. So let's take a look at that. So not bad for eyeball alignment. I asked for 1.5 negative camber in the rear, a very, very conservative setup for the street. Of course, if I were to take it out onto the track, I'd do a more little, more aggressive setup as far as uh, camber and a little bit of uh, toe. So there you go, not too bad. So not bad for an eyeball alignment. I think I got lucky on that one. And there it is, coilovers are fully installed. You really can't tell much of a difference in terms of ride height between the old coilovers and the new coilovers. And the reason is there is only about a quarter of an inch difference between the two. Um, there is gonna be some adjustments that's gonna have to be made. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, raising it up just a little bit to a more respectable ride height. And the reason is there is a little bit of rubbing going on the front, on the front. And uh, it's just annoying. I'm not gonna have rubbing if I wanna take the car to autocross and to a lapping day. It's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna be happy i'm gonna be totally annoyed and overall i'm really happy with the way it's riding right now i set the coilovers uh, to the middle which is 12 clicks actually right in the middle yeah and it pretty much rides just like stock except there is more control um, over bumps it's more compliant i think the oem struts are over dampened just a little bit just to make it feel more sporty yeah, uh, I've only had the coilovers for 100 miles, so I really can't give you uh, a definitive review on them. So this is just my first initial impressions. Uh, Fortunato 510 series coilovers, absolutely amazing. If you set it to soft, it'll ride like a Camry. If you set it to full stiff, it will ride like a skateboard. So right now I'm right in the middle and happy with, the, with, with where it's at. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that's it. Talk to you guys later. Peace out. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, rap attack, Mr. Magic Molly Mall. I let my tape rock till my tape.